Welcome to StoryDev, my name is Luke, also known as Tianary, and I'll be showing you how to build your own file folder system in Dirham GUI. In fact, this video lends itself more towards a solution built in C Sharp, so if you use TwinSpire CS, the solution will already exist. Just bear in mind that at the time of recording, this new feature is a work in progress, and not all options exist in TwinSpire CS. So, if you don't already know, you can find Twinspire CS over on Codeberg, where you can download and install and use it as a local solution that you can include in your c -sharp project. With that out of the way, let's get started. Over here, we have a method called createFileDialog. To continue working with this, I look at creating a state class, which will be used to store the data relevant to this method, as well as many others to follow. This file folder state class will contain some properties for us to manage. Firstly, we need something to tell us whether we are looking at files and folders on the system, or a custom virtual storage system for our own purposes. We add this into the state class. Next, we need a way to store virtual folders. I'm going to copy and paste some code from StoryDev Character Generator for this method. In fact, as time will tell, a lot of the code from our flagship will be copied and pasted as most of this functionality already exists. We create our virtual folder list property and we also like to add a files property into the class as well. We also have file folder display which we will use to define how the results should be displayed. We first add this into the file folder state class, but later decide against this, knowing this is only relevant to rendering and not to the state itself. Here we have three options, flat, split, and columns. Flat is what is rendered currently in the character generator. It is somewhat akin to the basic folder picker dialog in Windows, but obviously better. I mean, Everything is better than the basic folder picker in Windows, let's be fair. Split and columns I will explain later, as we just want to get the ball rolling here. Back in the helpers class, I expand the create file dialog method, turning it into a function returning the state, followed by a few extra parameters. Next, I add a new method called setFileRootPath. Although I do not implement this functionality in this video, this method is designed to acquire folders and files from a root directory from the native file system. To accomplish this, I also add the rootPath property to the state class. At some point on the journey, I consider adding open methods, which will be useful for determining what functionality should exist in the system. Again, I add this to the state class, but later decide against this, as again, it's really more of a rendering behavior than something relevant to the state. I finally add two more useful properties called folders and files. You can see by now that the virtual storage system is different from the native file system storage. This is ultimately because virtual storage is something custom made, so it makes more sense to keep that in its own contained method of organisation. The files and folders become a multi-dimensional array for the purposes of the columns display method. Finally, we implement the rest of the setFileRootPath method. 
Now I start the begin file dialog function. At this point, I need most of the code from story dev character generator to get most of the rendering that has already been done. Of course, a lot of this doesn't work because it doesn't follow the exact code as it is in character generator. So let's fix that. And voila, as if by the magic of video editing, we now have a semi-completed helpers class, including the relevant functionality we need for organizing a virtual storage system. But wait, let's now implement this in our character generator software. And now let's see the results. As it turns out, the folders don't exist. Of course, I did something stupid. So I go into the code and I get this fixed up. Naturally, I can't just set the virtual folders property in the state directly, so I implement the functionality for this. I update the character generator code and I don't get it. I do finally work it out and get it working, but the point is we now have a working flat only folder picking solution. Very useful for a lot of people. Do you see what I mean? And that's how we build a file folder dialog system in Twinspire CS, which currently doesn't have all the features you want yet, but it will. Trust me, I need this too. And that is it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video, please consider a like and hit the subscribe button. Also don't forget to turn notifications on, otherwise you will not get useful development tips, tutorials, or general... What the hell? Why am I not posting videos? Videos. Also, definitely be sure to check out storydev.co.uk, our main website, and last but not least, you need a character generator. Yeah, yes, character generator. You can get this on itch.io for just $9.99, but if you're feeling generous, you can offer more. But I will leave that in your trustworthy hands. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.